Hello. Listen to my voice. Hello. Welcome to Noel Chat. It's Noel Michaels here. Hi guys. It's like the middle of the night. It's almost 3 a.m. But I hadn't made a video yesterday. I was working like crazy the last two days. So I wanted to come on and say hi. And we're up to 74 subscribers because my friend Geisha saw my channel and subscribed and told me. Thank you, Geisha. Muchas gracias for your subscription to my channel. Every subscriber helps to get me to my goal of 1,000 to 2,000 subscribers. <laughs> ah, thumbs up for good on the video if you could do that now. And if you could share this video or tell a friend to subscribe, that would be help. a <laughs> big help. Big, big help. So I had a few things I wanted to show you. And... Uh, the first, I guess, I'll show you is, of course, dollar store stuff. Cards are one of the best things to get at the dollar store. Eight note cards with envelopes for a dollar. That's a great bargain. You could always use a blank card. Like yesterday, here's, the, here's one card I took out. Look how pretty this is got a beautiful flower and it says live love and laugh just so cute it really is nice so yesterday I found out that my neighbor got a new job I just took out a card and I wrote congratulations and I had a nice little card to give to my neighbor and I used this Pen. Wow, that looks fancy, doesn't it? It says on it, Cynthia Rowley. Yeah, and it clicks like this. Looks so fancy, but guess what? I got three of them for a dollar at the dollar store. And they... They write really nice. They're not super heavy. They're light. And these pens they don't write straight up. You have to really. I wanted you guys to see. <laughs> now I'm in trouble. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So you have to write, they're not like astronaut pens. Okay, I'll write first. <laughs> this is not a good demonstration. <laughs> These pens write wonderfully most of the time, and you might have to shake them. But when I did shake them, they worked good. Let's see, straight down. That's the way to do it. Okay. Oh, things just can work out whichever way they do. Huh? All right, so we talked about the note cards and the pens. Uh, oh, remember I told you about the I Am jewelry that I like, that I get at CVS? Well... I found another piece that I got. Isn't that pretty? It's pink and clear stones. And let's see if I could put it on myself. It has one of those clippy things. And you have to um, hold back the little metal piece and then grab onto the chain. So if you try not to do it too tight, it's usually okay. Yeah, got it right away. See? So pretty. 
I'm really happy with this piece. It's very comfortable. And it feels cool on your wrist because it's metal. On a hot day. So pretty. Uh, let's see. Oh, another tip. Look at this. I love to buy these um, stretchy, comfortable, I don't know what you call it, spaghetti strap tops at Walmart. They're really cheap. They're like $2 or less sometimes. But I like to get a bigger size because it's more comfortable. But then this, the sleeves are too big and they come too low. So just tie a knot. That's it. Just tie a knot in it. And there you go. It fits perfect. Okay, what else? Oh, last time I showed you this cute Pegasus that I bought over at Unity. Bev over there does crafts. Well, I wanted to show you what else I bought. It's actually for my daughter, but I don't think she'll watch this video, so I could show it to you anyway. Look how cute. A bottle with a cork in it. And she writes words like gratitude. Go with the flow. Look how cute that is. Laughter. Such positive stuff. Bev does. And wonder. There's no word on the bottom. It's just <laughs> collage. But. When you open it up, she told me, and it's true, there are more words in there. They're not even just words. I had to use a tweezer to get in there. And when you go in with the tweezer, what do you pull out? But a little scroll. And it's not just one scroll. This is filled with scrolls. I think the activity of getting them out with the tweezer is going to be very entertaining for somebody. <laughs> and all the work she put into this, and she sold it for just $3. What a beautiful gift. I'm very happy with that. I'm going to make sure I check Bev's table at the Unity of the Lehigh Valley all the time because she's got great stuff. So speaking about crafts, right, I went to a house and we went to the yard and I saw something that this woman had just made with the kids in her house and I was, oh, I hope you could see it good. Look at this. On the tree, on the tree were these flowers. And they were painted all different colors. Let's see. Oh, there. Yeah. There you go. There's the pop and colors. Wow. I loved it. I was like, how did you do that? Guess what she told me. She took a plastic bottle. Like this one. And she cut off the top. See? Cut off the top. Be careful when you start it. It's tricky. But you leave the cap on. Right? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cap off for a minute. And I'm going to put a pin through the hole there. Make a hole with the pin. Now, when I put this back on, there is a push pin sticking out that I can use to put on my bulletin board. See? Thinking ahead. Now, you cut the shape of a petal, and then you have to bend it back here so that it lays flat. I only did one because I wanted to do some with you guys to show you how I do it. Oh, I just pinched myself with the pen. Be careful, it's this dangerous work. Okay, so I have one cut here. So I have to go the opposite way, like this. It's 
to make it round. Let's see. And make another petal, just a petal shape. Wider at the end and then thinner towards the bottle of uh, the neck of the bottle, right? So here's another petal. I'm just gonna bend it back. Got one, two, two petals. I'm gonna keep going. Try to make even more petals. It's really not that difficult at all. And they had so many, you know, the kids were helping out like crazy. Just such a pretty project. All those colors on the tree. Bending it back. I've got three petals. I'm loving this. This is like... You could probably just sit with someone and chat. The bottles from the recycling bin, if you have any, or maybe your neighbors use them. And you can just sit and cut out the flowers. Another petal. Oh yeah. I thought you'd have to leave a lot of space between the petals, but really when you're cutting you don't have to because when you bend it back, just that makes a nice space between the petals. I think I'll make two more petals. Seems like that would be a good amount. Okay, one. And a few more snips. We'll be done with this. That didn't take very long now, did it? And I don't even think you have to be that early careful with it. Okay, I'm going to bend those last ones back. There we go. Look at that. All right. Now I've got my paintbrush ready. And I have a disposable plate to put some paint on. I'm going to use one of my favorite colors, here, here. Uh, violet acrylic paint. I'm going to just use it straight. I'm not mixing it with anything. I'll put some on the plate. Mm. Have to be careful. All right, I'm putting the paint plate of paint on my keyboard. Let's hope I don't press any buttons by mistake. Okay, I'm just going right in, right into the paint. My big brush, both sides. And I'm going to make purple petals. Look at that. So easy. Now she had hers outside and she was saying, that she thought once it started raining, she'd lose the paint because she used a water-based paint. So I was kidding around. I told her she should put an umbrella <laughs> over the flowers because they were so beautiful. Who wants to see those flowers destroyed? But I'm sure there's a waterproof spray that you could get to seal it at the craft store. That's what I'm thinking. But for me, I'm going to put mine inside on my cork board, on my Noel chat board. So I don't have to worry about rain at all. Isn't that nice? If you make some flowers, where are you going to put them? Do you have an idea? A new idea? Put it in the comments. I'd love to read some comments. That would be great. Sometimes my friend Marie writes me comments. And my friend Danielle. Hey Danielle, are you back from Disney yet? 
I miss seeing your face. Danielle's such a nice friend. She's the best, really. And I'm going to get to see Summer on Friday. We're going to go meet at the Perkins. Do you guys ever go to the Perkins restaurant? They always have something you like. They have so many things on their menu. You can have breakfast. You can have lunch. You can have dinner. Speaking of dinners at the Perkins, for a while there, I was really enjoying their turkey dinner. And they have like a special menu for older folks. It's a little more of a discount. Really nice. Okay. So there's my purple flower. You could probably pet, paint the inside a different color too. Maybe yellow would be nice. The inside of the cap. I think that would be real good. Uh, should I do that? Where's my yellow? I do have another brush. So, okay, and I found the yellow. Now, let's see. I'm going to unscrew it because very carefully because I have that pin in. Okay, so purple ones here. the pin back out while I do the yellow paint. Here's my other brush. It's good I had two brushes, right? Always be prepared. What's going on with my bags? <sighs> How was your day, guys? I can not believe it. I'll t if I tell you, my schedule today said nine appointments. My appointments are usually an hour long. Then you have to travel from one to the other. And some appointments are set of 45 minutes. Oops, I don't know if this yellow is not working so good. I guess the inside of the cap is not the same as the other plastic. Look. Oh, it looks better in the film. I mean on the monitor than it does to my eyes. But, so I'll just go with it then. Looks okay. All right, there's the yellow. Got to put the pin back in, right? Where's the hole? Oh, I could see where the paint's coming through. That's where the hole is. And the yellow pin on the yellow background, that'll blend in. That looks good. All right, let's see if I get it back onto the flower. When I put the flower down, I ended up dipping it by mistake into the purple paint. <laughs> so it might get a little messy. All right, let's see. How can we do this? I'm really learning a lot about this project as I'm doing it. What you should do first. I guess you should paint the cap first, the inside of the cap. Probably makes more sense. Or maybe you could put like a little piece of um, aluminum foil or gold foil. All right, that's all I'm doing. Now I'm getting in myself into trouble. Okay. Let's pull those petals back. And then you could touch up with the purple where you need to your fingers when you touch it takes off the paint. Look at that. So pretty. Really nice. Okay, now where did I get that extra paint? There it is. That's off now. Alright, it's going on the board. It's going on the board. Ah, how did that look? What do you think, guys? How does that look? I like it. I may make more. <laughs> Just not right this minute. Oh, I think that's all for today. How are we doing with time? I'm sure we're way over. Oh, almost 20 minutes. 
Well, it was nice to pop in. Glad you popped in. And I popped in to see you guys. It's nice to keep in touch, right? Tomorrow is Wednesday. And Thursday and Friday, it's the beginning of August. I was going to say April. But it's August, beginning of August. Music Fest is coming to Bethlehem. That should be a good time. It's probably going to be very noisy, really, around here. But everybody's just so happy at Music Fest all the time, walking around, people doing the polka, all kinds of different music, really. So I guess that's it for today. Thank you again for coming to Noel Chat. This is Noel Michael signing off. Have a good night, good day, good week, or good weekend. Whatever it is for you right now as you're watching this video. And take care. And Geisha, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Muchas, muchísimo gracias. Bye, guys.